Go into sports cannoli. Lee. How you doing, everybody? Let's talk sports. The advancements in fitness and strength training have surged in recent years with innovation coming in the form of supplements, technique, and equipment. The staff at Tactical Strength and Conditioning is taking a unique approach these days, taking a page out of Navy SEAL training, implementing a gas mask. Yes, a gas mask. Rob DeMello explains in this edition of the 76 Premium Profile. I never experienced such a thing. You feel like you're dying. It's called the Elevation Training Mat. Those who use it, like NFL receivers Kealoha Polaris and Greg Salas, along with UFC veteran Max Holloway, have labeled it the Mask of Misery. It, what it does is it restricts your breathing. So it, it, it is a next level training in the sense that um, if, you don't, if you're not in good shape already, um, you probably shouldn't uh, even try to put that gas mask on. Scientifically, its purpose is to condition the lungs by creating pulmonary resistance, thus strengthening lung stamina, oxygen efficiency, and perhaps most importantly, increase overall mental focus under fire. You know you're not going to go through anything tougher than that. You got to be able to tell yourself, you know, I got to push through this. You really have to concentrate on, you know, not only finishing your reps, but <laughs> breathing. Sometimes you hit that wall and you're like, you know, you can't do it anymore. You got to pull it off and just get a little fresh air. You got to battle yourself. It's it's you. It's yourself with that mask on. And uh, it's, a, it's a crazy experience. Now, specifically for Holloway, the mask has added importance as the UFC featherweight's next fight is in the thin air of Denver, Colorado. And one of the mask's primary targets is to mimic the effects of high altitude. I, I think this will help me out a lot, you know. Um, the whole time I'm just telling myself the fight's not going to be this hard, the fight's not going to be this hard. And with all of its intense and tangible, don't downplay the aesthetic advantage of looking like a straight-up superhero. Definitely, uh, yeah, the, the ma gas mask uh, gives them a little bit of bravado. Huh? I'm a Call of Duty fan, so I, I love playing Call of Duty, so I think I'm just about to go to war. I almost look like a... Like a serial killer, one of those crazy axe murder movies. It does look a little funky. Take pictures where you can, because I guess it does look sick on Instagram. <laughs> the mask gets put to the test later this summer. When both Salas and Polaris report the training camp on July 28th, Holloway will fight Justin Lawrence on August 11th. Rob DeMello, KHON2 Sports.